Hello and welcome to the TBC Trimble Business Center Survey and Construction YouTube channel. In this video I will be giving a workflow demonstration of the Extract Point feature command which was introduced in TBC version 5.0 and is included in later versions. It can be found in the Point Clouds ribbon in the deliverables section called Extract Point Feature. Uh, this is a mobile mapping data set and I will start by creating a limit box which will limit the amount of trees that are found in the automatic tree extraction method. And that should be good right there. So open up the extract point feature command. Switch over to automatic, enter the feature code, go ahead and hit extract. And there we go. That is 10 trees. So what we do is go ahead and hit add. And with the properties pane open, I can switch over to the manual picking, click on the pick a tree point box, hit control down, and it will select and pan to one of the points. What I'm looking at here is the coordinate as well as the trunk diameter. On this one, we have negative one, which means that the picking algorithm was unable to get the diameter for this tree, so control D to delete it, click and enter to manually extract the tree. That diameter looks good, but the spread's a little bit small, so I can click on the spread box, click on two points, and that will use that as the new diameter. That looks good, hit add, excellent. Control down for the next one. Coordinate looks good, diameter looks good. Yep, and yep. Um, yep, and yep, yep, and yep, yep, looks good, looks good, that one looks good, looks good, nope, that coordinate looks a little bit off, so control D, click, enter, and, yeah, that looks good, so enter, and it's stored. Control down. Oh, that's back to the beginning. Excellent. So there's the trees. Let's switch over to poles. Um, I will enter in my feature code. And oh, these attributes aren't mapped yet, so I'll map those over here and just select a anywhere on a pole. Hit enter. The height looks good, the coordinate looks good, and the diameter looks maybe a little bit small. So what if it's 0.12? That looks better. So then add that, click on the next one, enter. Diameter looks good, height and coordinate look good, enter to add. Click enter to get the next one. That looks good. Perfect, that's three poles. Um, Diameter looks a little bit small. That looks better. And enter to add, or click on add rather. Uh, for the manual extraction methods, the classification of the tree sign or pole improves the accuracy and it improves the speed with which the feature is extracted. The difference is slight, but there is a difference. Oh, whoops, I didn't hit enter on that last one. And that looks good. So there's five, five, six holes. Six holes, ten trees. 
Okay, go ahead and close the limit box. There are some signs over here that I would like to extract as well. So let's get back into the command. This is a sign, enter the feature code. Um, map the attributes. Excellent. And go into the picking. That looks good. Yep, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, that looks good. And that looks good. Enter. Perfect. So there are four signs and six poles and ten trees extracted. Um, for speed reference, I'm using a Dell Precision 3520 laptop with an Intel i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, during this video, I'm also recording my screen, which takes up a significant amount of processing power. Um, there is the extract point feature command. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for more information, check out the in-depth video that accompanies this one. Excellent. Thank you.